What is up guys? This is my second tutorial on GIMP Shop and I'm going to be showing you a quick little tool that I find very useful. I used it for my YouTube, one of my YouTube account photos. Um, yeah, basically what it is, is it is a logo and to create this logo you're going to go into File, Create, Logo. Pretty simple. And basically what it is, they have put together a bunch of layers in here that look cool together. And they have basically made, and you can edit them. But yeah, they just made a bunch of cool little layers together. And so, I'm going to choose Frosty. And I'm going to keep it at logo as my text. I'm going to make my background color dark blue. Darker blue, here we go. And okay. And voila, there we go. That's basically what they put together. And for this, um, you can edit it. Surprisingly, what you're gonna have to do is you have to right-click it, Alpha to selection. And basically, what you have to do is get rid of all the other eyes here, so you can't see anything else. And what the Alpha to selection does, if you cannot see, is it outlines this actual layer. So when you try to edit it, it doesn't do anything funky to the actual outside of the photo. So I'm going to go with a simple gray here. Because basically I like how it is. Just want to add a little bit of gray in here. So I'm just going to go through here. But this is actually a paintbrush. And yeah. So yeah. Uh, basically now look it's, it's different now but I actually want to show you something cool you can do that to the other layers you can experiment edit the other layers There's a shadow back there these, these things you can edit but what I actually like to do is you can actually use a gradient for this and for this is these are gradients if you don't know what these is and basically what it is FG and BG is foreground and background and so this is this is talking about hue and how the hue changes. Basically what the gradient is, is it is a thing that goes across the paper merging the colors. It's a cool tool that I like to use. So I'm just going to do something real simple here. You can create your own gradient even. even. But I'm just going to use this. And basically if I want it, so I'm going to change my foreground and background colors here, something cool, and you'll see why. So my foreground, I'm going to make it a, usually you want foreground to go with a little bit of darker on the, um, or lighter on the actual gradients. So I'm going to go with a light orange here. Hold on, here I got to go down here, and that's good. Now for my background here, I'm going to go with a little darker, I'm just going to select a uh, custom blue, a darker blue, and here is the gradient tool, we want to click on this, and start here, and slide across, and well bam, there you have it, it's a gradient, it's a cool tool, I like using it, um, so yeah, um, what now, when you see, it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, that's basically it. You can experiment with it. I just wanted to show you that cool, quick little tool, and I'll be coming out with more videos on how to do cool banners for websites and stuff like that. So hopefully you keep continuing to follow me and give me support. I'll see you. Bye.